Every time I get a chance, I'm on Facebook. A few weeks ago, Sue was online as normal. I got an invite from a friend. An invite to join a group page called Smash or Pass. <laughs> teens post pictures and other teens vote on whether they would smash, want to have sex with them, or pass. It's nasty. Like, who would want to be seen that way? It makes you look that bad and nasty. Like, I would never post something like that on Facebook. Looking through the comments, though, it's more than just a simple vote. Many teens giving their opinions of the people in pictures. People are really mean on Facebook. Like, if you post something, people can be really mean about it. Very surprised, especially when I come up on one, it looked like the girl couldn't have been more than 10 or 12. To think they have to get on a site like that and expose themselves, it's, it's depressing as a parent. Counselors say it's often hard for teens to see what it is they are really doing. Young kids do things sometimes impulsively and they don't see the long term uh, possible consequences. Kimball Richardson says teens shouldn't be so focused on just their looks, but this page opens them up to harsh judgment. The possibilities are that they can really hurt somebody's feelings uh, terribly. About all we can do is give them our best advice and hope they listen and kind of try and monitor them a little closer. A talk that seems to have sunk in for this family. Facebook's an advantage, but like you don't want to like use it in the wrong way. Eva Pilgrim, Fox 59 News.